Hello and welcome back to Willoughby DIY. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this set of beautiful wall vases. Super simple and it's a quick craft. So you will need nine of these craft sticks, some wire to create a hanger, and two of these metal corrugated plaques from the Dollar Tree that I absolutely adore. Remove their uh, jute hangers that they come with and we're going to start bending them. Now you want to bend them where the lines of the corrugation is vertical, but bend this very carefully. This is real time. I'm going to speed it up here for you in just a second. Just be very careful. You don't want to bend it too harshly. We just want it to be somewhat of a cylind cylindrical shape. It should look a bit like this. Repeat that with your second one and make sure they're pretty symmetrical, pretty much the same. Now we can create some little platforms to sit inside of them and we're going to do that by taking four of those craft sticks. I'm using masking tape to keep it together at the ends. Then we're going to take a half of a craft stick and glue that right down the center. Then we'll flip it over, set our metal piece on top of it and trace the inside shape of our vase with a pencil. Cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do not follow the lines. It's too hard. Just cut like a semicircle shape. Uh, once you have that cut out, make sure it fits and cut off any excess of the straight part here. Um, this is going to sit against the wall, so you want it to be pretty flush or shorter than the metal edges. Hopefully that makes sense. Then we're going to just put it inside there. Make sure it's pretty level and about an inch from one end just above the original hanger holes and put tons of hot glue, just tons. You won't see the inside of this, so it's okay. <laughs> Once that's all dry and you've done both of them, we're gonna cover those holes by putting a dollop of hot glue just on the inside over the holes. Let the glue kind of seep through the front a bit and then carefully smooth that out on the front. Just kind of pat it down and level it off. Maybe use silicone fingers or <laughs> a tool. I have no nerve endings left in my fingertips, so it's fine. Um, then we're going to take a dotting tool, some black paint, and cover those holes with that black paint to make sort of a hardware, look like sort of like hardware. For the other side, there's no actual holes there, so I just lined it up with my other vase to try to get the placement right on those dots. You should have four dots on each vase, and once that paint dries, we can go in with some silver paint. Put just a tad on top of all of our black dots, pat it carefully with our finger, and let that dry. And you have some hardware holes, I guess. <laughs> they look pretty cool. Anyway, moving on to our hanger. I took about two feet of wire, cut it in half, one foot for each vase, folded that in half, twisted it together, and then I made like a little bend in the center to make sort of a peak to hang on something. <laughs> That makes sense. And then we're just going to trim off any excess we don't need. This needs to fit just inside of this vase cylinder piece. We're going to put a dollop of hot glue right on that hot glue that we used to cover the hole. Hold this wire piece in place in that hot glue until the hot glue dries. And then repeat that with the other side. Once you have added both of your wire hangers. Um, then it's time to add our florals. To start, we want a piece of floral foam. This comes in a three pack from the Dollar Tree. Cut it in half. Add a tiny bit of hot glue to your little craft stick platform there. We got foxtails, bittersweet, and these gorgeous decorative picks from the Dollar Tree. They got like three different flowers on them and some fruit. Oh, they're so pretty. We're going to cut the foxtail and the bittersweet off of their main stem. Leave the decorative picks intact. And starting with the foxtail, I just put that all along the back of our face. Then I put the decorative pick in the front and then popped some bittersweet in here and there. I did take some of those bittersweet picks, bent right at the topmost floral piece and stuck it down the front so it kind of cascades out a little bit. Repeat with your second vase. And that's it. This project took me about 30 to 40 minutes to complete the vases themselves. And then maybe like 20 minutes to do the arrangements. This is a pretty awesome project. And it fits any decor, any style. You can paint it a different color, whatever you want. Just switch out the florals and you're good to go. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Maybe check out my quick craft playlist and see some other little quick and easy crafts you can try. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time.